Okay now. Now I think I'll take usually there's a, some kind of buffer on the antenna here. 300 ohm. They want 300 ohms. Uh, 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 this is 50 ohms to start with. 300 ohms stuck in series. That's what we got to do. So, okay, I got to hunt down a resistor here. Okay, so I got a 380 ohm resistor here. It's going to do the trick and you want to go to uh, 155 degrees where we should find the 1400. Let's find out. 155 degrees. Here we go. Uh, let's check the zero on this before we get ourselves in trouble. Uh, I like that. This isn't this isn't hundred percent perfect. Okay, 100, 100, 155, 155. That's 155. Oh, turn up the volume. Well, I don't hear anything. So what we'll do? We'll leave that that way. Tune the signal generator at this point. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, up to power. That's a pretty low signal. Up to power. Hello. Calling radio. Calling radio. Okay, now we're, we're blasting it with a stupidly strong signal. Wire is still being. The wire still needs attention. Uh oh. Okay. What's happening? What's happening here? I'm definitely, I'm at the high end of the band. No doubt about it. I've got this on A. It's on A. Without a doubt. The signal fed in. Signals 1400. Why? Why nothing? He says. Fix that later. Oh, this picked up signals. Come on, how can I not pick this up? 1400 is way out here. But I tune this way down. So we still have this loop antenna connected. Did I do a dumb thing how I connected this? Loop socket, loop socket, loop socket. Well, this is loop socket. What about it? What about the loop socket? So maybe I don't have this hooked up right. But I read all this stuff. This is a big warning about using a test oscillator in your shop uh, because they're inaccurate and you can't make them accurate. And use harmonics of the standard broadcast range. What? Use stations of known frequency. Crystal calibrated. This is all just instructions on how to uh, get around the problem of not having an accurate frequency to tune it up to. Align IF circuits by means of the oscillograph or symmetrical curve, which I didn't do. I just used an indicating meter. Peak RF stages for all bands. Note, radiation loop comprising two turns, 18 inch wire, four feet from the receiver before doing C2, C2, C2 on loop. Radiation loop, loop, socket.
I've done a lot of these radios and I've never hooked up to the loop socket. Maybe, you know, sometimes on the schematic or somewhere else they get little little hints about where to hook up test equipment. Usually on the schematic. Here it is. <laughs> uh, I have the capacity antenna connected. I see no notes up here indicating anything about how to hook up to. I mean, they don't even picture the socket on here. It's just distributed. No notes anywhere about this. Okay, so I'm going to hook up to the socket. What am I trying to do here? I'd be, uh, I'm going to guess this black wire is going to be... God only knows what happens to the black wire in there because it gets into this wafer switch. And the green wire... Green for go. Uh, green wire all the way over here into the wafer switch. So the wire I'm hooked up to is this one here, this A wire, which connects here, which then feeds into the loop assembly. Surely to goodness some signal would make it through this whole thing. Come on, it's crazy. It's got to work from back here. Okay, so the radio the radio's down around 600 somewhere. Let's go down there. Hmm. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. 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 What happened there? Okay. So I'm tuning through the IF frequency. I have frequency just being fed into the antenna, but enough of it's getting through to make it out of the, uh, to make it into the detector. Four, three, eight. Can you see it on the, can't really read it. There you are, now you see it. So there, there's a peak. Right where it should be. What the heck is this? What's that doing there? This this is not good at all. Uh, I can't say I've ever seen this kind of thing where it, it appears as if the IF is resonating at two frequencies. Does that mean I didn't get those coils right? Oh my gosh, I'm going backwards. We're going backwards here. Why else could it do this? There's something funny with feeding the IF through the antenna. Oh, okay, that's the volume control I just adjusted. I'm tuning the radio. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what this means. This frequency appears to be being tuned in. Let me go back to here. This is, this is blowing my head off. So that should be just the IF. That shouldn't change as I tune the radio. Good. Wow, did I almost go off on another wild goose chase? So what the story is with this... enough ghosts on this radio so I <laughs> can ignore all that. It seems fine. Okay, now let's tune the radio uh, back down to the low part of the band, down around the 600s. 
find us. There we are again. What's the story on this? This radio is actually tuning in 477. Oh my god, look at this. It's a fateful decision to continue on this morning. Um, but I was listening to a station at 590. Let's listen to it again. Let's, let's get the 590 station happening here. <gasps> no, that doesn't matter. That shouldn't matter. It should not matter. This matters. Yeah, don't want that one pushed. These ones don't matter. Not when this is set the way it's set. Verify this. This is 477 thing. So if that's 590, we'll just go down. Okay, so we're 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 off the AM band already. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We're, we're off the AM band. We're at 500, and there's still a lot of room left. There's still lots of room left in the capacitor here. Oh my God, what's going on here? Literally, somebody has whacked this radio way out. So I'm guessing the local oscillator is just that far off. It's just, it's just probably compensating for the crazy IF. I don't know. So let's do the low end because I'm down here. Let's get the low end done. We're gonna have to go back and forth a few times here. So that's L19 and L19. Make a mistake right in the middle. L19. Okay, so now we want to do this so that we're at a certain. I have, I have to re zero. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Re zero this. Oh, it's right on in the camera. Good, leave it. Back up. Okay, now that is actually supposed to occur at. Oh, nowhere. 600. We should be doing this at 600. Okay, so that is coming out at uh, almost 70 and it's supposed to be 33.5. Wow. Okay. So the big red thing is my tuning shaft. So we're going to drive this guy back to 
to 33. There we go. Okay, 30, it says 33.5. Yeah, 33.5. Like you can be that precise with this. Thirty-three point five. Now that was five ninety, probably. So now I'm getting up to six hundred. So, guess what we need now? We need we need the uh, we need the meter. We need the meter hooked up. But being the sufficiently coffeeed up guy I am, I actually left the wire hanging out, didn't I? Where's the wire? Oh my gosh, it's way over here. Clip lead, it's gone wild. There. Okay, so this clip lead, <laughs> this clip lead I kind of forgot about, has the ABC voltage on it. Let's make use of it. Here, watch the meter. Ah. A huge AVC voltage here of almost of 20 volts. That's a huge. So I'm gonna. The reason for it is the input to the radio antenna is gigantic. more reasonable AVC down around 10 volts still a little high that's good enough to start though so we're at 600 kilohertz on the signal generator we don't have to listen to this maybe a little bit just to reassure me and we're finishing off the oscillator adjustment the right peak in the meter are we still at 33? Yeah. Peak that meter. Don't be fooled now. There's another signal to peak it with. It's also uh, in my shop, and I'm sure all over the world, there's so much noise, uh, electrical noise, that you can have a higher voltage produced by your detector from the noise than from the signal you're listening to. So, I don't want that to happen. That's the spot. So now we go, now, so what that'll have done, it'll have brought the 1400 back in, because probably the 1400 was winged, like, you know, the, these things are not uh, linear. So the 1400 may have shot way, way, way out, like, you know, expanding universe type thing or whatever. Uh, anybody paying attention to what Roger Penrose is saying these days about the start of the universe? Go watch a video. Roger Penrose, Origins of the Universe. Try to find one from this year. He's had a theory he's been working on for a few years, interesting theory. And most recently, someone else, he, he's pretty old now, someone else has whipped up some mathematics that seems to support his theory. Very interesting theory. Start of the universe, nothing to do with inflation, and no Big Bang. It's very interesting. So, I'll leave it for you. Now, now that I throw myself right off, we're going up to 1400. Right. Let's go part way, and then we'll find out where we are here. Find out where we are. That we would find out where we are. What? Oh, there we are. Okay, moving on up. Get 
give me more. Okay, follow it all the way up here. Now. Take a look at the uh, back of the dial. For 1400, the dial should be at 155. 155. A little off. 155, and now we're adjusting L19. Wait a minute, didn't I just do L19? We're doing C. 34. C 34 right on. Okay, I gotta find a little tool to do that. Eh. Nothing like throwing a few things on the floor. I use this tool to do this, this kind of guy here. Now I mean Stupid, I've made all kinds of stupid mistakes with these things. Don't make stupid mistakes this time, Jeff. This particular style of adjuster has haunted me. So I'm going to try to loosen off that locking thing. Really, I, I've done these quite a few times, and the last time was the first time I realized how you're really supposed to do them. Can I see the guy down there? Okay, loosen off the locking nut here. Okay, didn't take much. Now, I should be able to pull that shaft up and down. Fairly easily. There we go. You know that was shoved all the way down, I think? Yeah, but I, don't, I don't hear the station coming in, so... Let's find it. Okay, so that's 14... 30. I'm just going to go just below. You can still hear it. Then I'll know which way I'm moving this right away. Up. Up. So, if we go down. Down is stronger. Back down. Back down. Way down. Almost got it. Okay, so unfortunately there's noise there, but that's 1400 there. Just by ear. Just by ear. It's right back where it was. <laughs> uh, how can that be? So we're still at 33. Did I, did I run that up at some point? No, not 33. We're at 155, right on the money. We're in the right spot. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I can't really explain the goofy things that happen sometimes. So I think we've done it. Just gotta watch the meter now. That's over here. Up. Doesn't sound like it's going up. That's the problem with a little bit of noise there. Let's go down. Too far. Well, I don't think we're getting any better than that. So we'll go check the other end now. The other end was uh, 30, 33. What was it? 
Her end was 33.5. Forty Toronto. Thirty-three point five. Does it sound clear, right? As we get the radio sorted out, the all the parts start helping a lot. Like, like it was the radio was working on when I started, but not everything was helping that much. So once you get it all aligned, everything is helping with the result. Clearly I've been in here too long already this morning. So we should be picking up here, we should be picking up 600. That's the excitement. Excitement. Is it 600? I fool that. Yeah, I'd say that's 600. So the meter peaks right here, 599, right on, it's right on the money. Excellent. All that's left now is that capacitor up here. So I have to uh, engage a loop. I'm going to get my loop antenna, it will do just what it says here. Follow the procedure. Okay, so here's my loop antenna. Now the instructions say an 18 inch coil with two or three turns. This is really yeah, got to be uh, two foot, maybe three, three foot, about, about a meter here. And although you see a bunch of wires, there's really only one turn of wire that is hooked up to these leads. So but I think that's going to radiate enough. I mean, I could just crank up my uh, signal generator until, uh, until things work. That's the idea. So we want to feed the signal generator signal, not here, but here. Okay, not much coming through, is there? Mm. My signal generator is running the full tilt. Wow, that, that was full tilt on the radio before. You know, this, uh, I don't know. Okay, let me just try something over here quickly. Doesn't seem to make any difference. I can hear, oh, turn the volume up, Jim. Okay, now we're supposed to do this last, this last one, 1400, back to 155, 1400 back to 155, 155, now when this radio is all fixed up, it should work really well. If it doesn't, it's all my fault. So we, we should find 1,400 here. Let's see if that's really the case. We really find 1,400. Not hooked up. Oh. It is hooked up. It's hooked up to the loop in time. Wow. Nothing coming through. Uh, I can turn this up a little bit higher. Let me turn that up a little bit higher. Oh, it is there. No, it isn't. Huh. Well, okay, so my scam of using that loop didn't work. Now I have another, I have another little loop. I have a little loop that I usually use. Let's, let's try this one. Let's try this one here.
Well, maybe the antenna needs to be peaked. I'm afraid I'm part of the deal here. As I put it down, it's not coming through. That's the best. Let me stick it up here right near the antenna. How about that? It's supposed to be four feet away. Not quite four feet. Okay. So we'll tune the radio for maximum reception here. Now we'll tune that antenna slug. I don't like it. Is that antenna really working? How can you tell? There's nothing else to tune up on the AM band. Well, okay. Then let's, uh, let's first of all take this guy out of the picture. See what we get. Okay, we shouldn't get anything up here. Not till we get down to around here. Let me see if that's French. Tone control not doing much. Picking a station up here is pretty good. with the station going. Okay. 
<laughs> the passive hat is not on there on the in involved here. Maybe that's not helping. So where is the end of the road, frequency-wise? Let's just let's just take it off. Oh, oh, let's just get off that noise. Oh, come on. Where are we there? Five. 550 in that range. Perfect. Good. Just wanted to make sure that 530 was ending up right down here. Excellent. Ooh, I think that's it for the AM radio. It's reception here in my shop is typical of radios in my shop. Uh, to get a better impression, I literally have to take all this out of here and put it somewhere else, uh, which I eventually will do, but certainly not right now. So what's left now is... Uh, the uh, short wave bands and uh, the tone control obviously doesn't seem to be helping out the situation so I did leave a capacitor in there I'll have to go after that too so thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'm on my way to see a doctor about a uh, colonoscopy oh just a routine thing but uh, that's that's for another day down the road procedure. I shouldn't even have said that, but that's what's on my mind. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, hopefully uh, finish this guy right off. Oh, I still got all the buttons to do. Ah, lots to do, lots to do, lots to do. See ya.